Yo, what up Street Talks, Eric Kim, Art the Thought. This one is about photography and storytelling. So what is photography and storytelling and why does it matter? So uh, some quick thoughts. Uh, essentially the general gist is, you know, if you think about the Iliad, think about the Odyssey, going back to Homer, ancient epic poems and everything like that in between, it seems that we humans have a penchant for stories. Stories is how we communicate ideas, thoughts, feelings, and so forth. And I think one of the the greatest strengths of photography is that, you know, it's propensity for storytelling. So comparing photography from the other uh, visual arts, certainly using other visual arts could create great stories. I mean, think about Pixar, comic books, and graphic novels, and so forth. But I think photography is especially interesting and especially profound because you know, technically the, the photos you shoot are of real life, of embodied reality, and by deciding which photos to choose or which photos not to choose, which uh, sequence and order, you could tell a story. So for example, uh, I just put together a little blog post album of um, titled just uh, Waiting for Seneca, so it's photos that I refrained from posting for about, almost like nine months because it revealed uh, the fact that Cindy was pregnant with Seneca. And it was, a, it was a great photo project because, or a series of images because, um, I don't know, I think it, it showed the joy and anticipation of, uh, you know, Seneca is obviously not here yet, but even for me to, to look back and select the photos brought me great joy because it made me realize just how far I've come in terms of uh, looking back at these old photos. So when it comes to photography and storytelling, just have a have a great joy of uh, going back looking at old photos. I call it recursive uh, photo editing where it's not always just making new photos but it's also going back in your older photos that you already shot um, allowing it to bring you great joy um, reflecting on it and there's no right or wrong way to tell a story and just tell the photos that share the photos that uh, tell your own personal story and you know, think of yourself not just as a photographer, but a storyteller.